Hello and welcome to PCM is Nurata. You are watching this video on solving past paper problems by Sonal Gupta. So in this question we see that we are given a graph which shows the variation of displacement of the object with time. And as per the graph, our graph starts from a maximum value which is negative 2a and it goes up then it reaches here on the other side and comes back. So if it was not like this, just an upside wave, we would have immediately known this is a cosine wave. But this, what we are given, is not the cosine, it's the inverted cosine wave. That means the graph given represents a negative cosine wave. Therefore, I would say the displacement that is being represented in this graph is negative x naught cos of omega t. Therefore, what will be the velocity? We know that if the displacement is given as x is equal to negative x naught cos omega t, then velocity is given as v is v negative omega x naught into negative sine omega t and that gives me a positive value of the velocity which is omega x naught sine omega t. Now I substitute the value of omega as 2 pi by t times x naught. x naught my amplitude is a. I'll put it in the next step. Sine of 2 pi by t times t. Just plug in all the formulas. And now, therefore, we get this is <clears throat> 2 pi by t x naught, which is amplitude a times sine of 2 pi by t. t denotes the time period. What is the value of time period here? One wave is completed in 2t. So, I just put it as 2t into t. Now, 2 and 2 would cancel. Therefore, we get the final answer for velocity of the object as 2 pi a by t sine of pi t by t. Gives, this gives me b to be the correct option.